Suspects remain on the loose after two separate shootings in South Oroville. The two shootings happened two days apart, less than a mile from each other. The sheriff's office says they're unrelated. One person was killed Thursday night in a shooting on Lincoln Boulevard. The other shooting happened Saturday night. Uh, the uh, victim survived in that one. Well, Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum spoke with people living nearby and has more on their concerns. It makes me feel like I want to pick up everything and leave. Butte County Sheriff's Office says Saturday night, one person was shot on Margot Lane and sent to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. It just makes me kind of uneasy, uncomfortable. I used to didn't unlock my door in my camper, but I am locking it now. Neighbors say they heard three to four gunshots, and these white pieces of paper on the ground are where bullet shell casings were found. Caldwell says she's concerned with the shooting happening so close to her family, especially with her four-year-old great-nephew living there. Why he definitely stays in our sight. I'm more so concerned in the front yard because, you know, that's where we were more open, yeah? Not only are people living on Margot Lane concerned with this shooting, but they're also concerned with the deadly shooting that happened here near the town market on Lincoln Boulevard just two days earlier on Thursday night. According to my GPS, the two shootings happened less than a mile away from each other, but Butte County Sheriff's Office says they're unrelated. I think we're going to install more cameras and more security things so we are more safe the next time. Um, that's how we're going to go forward with this, and hopefully this doesn't happen again, you know. Lucky Singh owns Town Market. He says the victim, David Adams, crawled into his store after getting shot. He says it's concerning that the shooting happened here and says it's been tough on his business, too. Monday was the first day he could open back up. And it was really hard to find someone that, you know, to clean it out. Otherwise, we couldn't be open yesterday, but it was we couldn't find anybody that could clean everything out for us. We're still working on finding more information about these shootings. We've asked the sheriff's department about how the victim from Saturday's shooting is doing, why these shootings happened, and details about the suspects, but they don't have that info right now. Reporting in Orville, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now, coverage you can count on. The Butte County Sheriff's Office is asking for people with more information who may have information to give them a call.